All right. Uh, this, in their last lesson, we discovered that linear equations written in the form y equals mx plus b, uh, in that form, they contain some key information. The m number is actually the slope of the line, and the b number is where that line crosses the y-axis. So today, we want to show how to use that information to make linear graphs for any linear equation. Now, up to this point, we've just been giving you a couple of points on a line and having you find the slope and uh, things like that. And then we introduced the idea that an equation could have uh, an x and a y in it. And we talked about how to solve for y a little bit and then showed you that when you solve for y and write it in this form, this y equals mx plus b form, you create an equation that's very special and very powerful. So let's try graphing a few of them using this slope and this y-intercept number. So first of all, we know that you have, in our, this first equation, we have y equals negative one-fourth x plus three. So that means that the slope of uh, this graph is gonna be negative one-fourth, and the y-intercept is gonna be three. So the first thing that we do is graph a dot on y, the y-axis at uh, the value of y equals three. So let's do that. So I gotta grab a, a marker here. And so at y equals three, I'm gonna put a dot there, okay? And that's what I just graphed is the y-intercept and it was this number right here. <coughs> okay, now using that, I know that the slope of the line that goes through that dot is negative one-fourth. So what do I do? What does that mean? That means I go down one and over one, two, three, four, and make my second dot. And I can keep doing this if I want to, but really all I need is two points. And so I have now figured out where my line goes. And so I'm gonna get a straight line tool. And in your case, you'll just use a ruler. And I can just grab a line and go down through there like that. <coughs> and I want to extend it in both directions. Oops, didn't get a hold of it right. Okay, I'm going to extend it in both directions. And that's what we want you to do on your page is extend it in both directions, just like that. So it goes off the edge of the page. So there's the line, y goes negative one fourth x plus three. Okay, so maybe that was a little new to you, a little strange, so let's try another one. This one is y equals 3x minus 1. Now, before we graph, the, graph this, I want to mention that this slope of 3 here um, is actually 3 over 1. If you remember how we've, whenever we get 1 on the bottom, we've been just simplifying and just writing it as 3 or whatever that number on top is. So we got to remember that the slope of this line is up 3 over 1. And we need to identify one point we can work, use as a starting place, and that point is this one, the y-intercept. So our y-intercept is negative one. So I go to negative one on the y-axis. So I know this line is going to come through here and cross at that point. And then the slope tells us from here to get our second point, we go up one, two, three, and over one. Let's do that twice, one, two, three, over one. And this is our line that, that is represented by this equation. We could even do this kind of backwards. We can go down three, one, two, three, and back one. One, two, three, and back one. And you notice we're still on the same line. And let's go ahead and, uh, oops. I wanna, let's go to get our line tool. Let's go ahead and draw a line between them all of our points, and there's our straight line. Pretty nifty, right? So if we solve an equation for y, a linear equation, then the numbers that are left in front of x and the one, the constant behind it, literally define where we put the graph and it makes it very easy to graph something. Here's another one, y equals two thirds x plus two. So again, our y-intercept is in this case, two, this number right over here. So we go up to two on the y-axis, make a dot. 
then the slope designated by two thirds tells us that a line passing through this point has a slope of up two and over one, two, three. Up two and over one, two, three. So a line's gonna go through there in that orientation and that's gonna be the graph of my line. And so it's, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Once you understand what it is that you're trying to accomplish, you can graph a line using the slope and intercept form. I'm just trying to make it a little more accurate there. Okay, so using the y-intercept and the slope, you can graph a line very quickly. Let's try, go ahead and try another one. And I'll get my tools ready, but I want you to give it a try. So you're gonna take that one and graph it on the y-axis, and then you're gonna use the slope of down one over two to get your second point. And as you've had a few moments to try it, so plus one is the y-intercept. And then our slope is down one and over two. Down one over two. Down one over two. So that's my slope. A few more of my points generated by using the slope of down one over two. And there's my line. So I've graphed this equation um, using the y-intercept and the slope. And so what we're, what we're demonstrating here is that equations written correctly can be used to describe a, an actual line on the coordinate system that has a certain orientation and a certain slope and a certain y-intercept. And that's pretty powerful if you stop and think about it. Now there's a couple of special linear equations that look like this. We've already seen these a couple of times and uh, we want to show you what they look like. So if I have just the equation y equals five, this would be a linear equation that has a zero slope. And so in order to graph it, I would go up to the y-intercept of y equals five. And if I have a line that has zero slope, then the slope dude would tell me that it's a flat line through that point, y equals five. So that's considered to be uh, the y equals x, the line, or excuse me, the line y equals five with no slope. Now, we also had slope dude tell us about equations that have, or lines that have a slope that is undefined. And they can be depicted by this equation, x equals some constant, like in this case, negative two, in order to show you what this looks like, then I grab a marker and at negative two on the x-axis, I make a dot. And you remember when uh, slope dude said undefined, he was actually falling off a cliff or going straight up and down. So in this case, we have a x-intercept of negative two and a vertical line. So this is how you graph x equals some constant. So there's you know two special cases of the linear equations that we've been doing, but they're just either a horizontal line or a vertical line. All right, so here's uh, one more. Let's try one more. And this one's a, a little bit different because there's no number in front of x. So we want you to remember that whenever there's a variable all by itself, what number's in front of it? We have to remember that the number in front of it is one. And then any number that's out there, if it's not a fraction, also has a denominator of one. So our slope on this one will be up one and over one. So let's start with our y-intercept of negative two. So I just took this number and plotted it on the y-axis at negative two. And then the slope says to go up one and over one. So up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, so on and so forth. Then we grab our line tool, stretch it down through there and try to get it right. There you go. So there's the line y equals one X minus two and that slope is just has a slope of one, up one over one. So hopefully that'll help you out. We've got a 
worksheet for you where we're going to give you the equations in y equals mx plus b form and let you practice graphing them out for us. Thank you very much.